Welcome to another NHI Info Pod recorded here at the National Hispanic Institute Home Office in Maxwell, Texas. I'm joined today by my colleague and good friend Paola Hernandez, our president and founder Ernesto Nieto. And we want to take a moment to give a very special thank you to Union Pacific, who's an official underwriter of this program and the NHI Podcast Network. Speaking of investment um, and contribution, today we're talking about the Change a Life campaign, a new advancement project of the Institute that's kicking off. Ernesto, what is the Change a Life campaign? It's a once a year campaign that's primarily directed, not exclusively, but primarily directed at former participants who want to have a financial role in furthering the work of the National Hispanic Institute through this specific campaign called Change of Life, which starts April 1st and it ends June 1st of this year. And it's that time of the year, the spring. We all feel good. It's warm again. Uh, We're full of life. And we want to help underwrite many of the activities that take place during the summer as we head into our summer programs. And as you well know, we're going to have 16 top programs that are going to take place this summer. And then, of course, in the fall, we have Celebración. And Paula, what exactly are we trying to raise here? Or, or what, what's the investment portfolio we're trying to build? NHI is going to raise $100,000 uh, to change as many lives as, as possible within the NHI network. What makes this unique, different for NHI members in particular? You know, I... I I don't think that our members, a couple of things that I think are very important. July 20th of this coming summer marks 39 years. That's a long time. We started years ago with just 90 kids. And today, we not only work with tons of kids all over the United States, but also internationally. We work with 3,000 kids. So we're national and international in scope. We're not a little organization anymore. That's number one. Number two, NHI is not funded by government. It never has from the start or any major benefactor, corporation, or a foundation. We literally raise all our funds from our community under the flag of investors. We're looking for young minds, young souls, young hearts who see the importance of investing small and large amounts and want it to go towards furthering the mission, furthering the work of leadership in the Latino community. Why now would you say more than ever is it important to build an investment culture in our in the Latino community, if not just the NHI community? Because as a matter of priority, the idea is to create a critical mass of very well educated, skill, informed people as we grow as a population and we contribute more to the American experience. We need very good, effective, articulate skill leaders. We can't, we can't handle this gigantic task and mission with a handful of people. We've gone from civil rights, meaning being under or unrepresented, to now helping guide the future of our country. That's a very different calling. We've been using the word investment instead of giving or donating. Why is that word so fundamental to this? When you give or you give to a need or you give to charity, the idea is to address a particular need in the community uh, that draws attention to something tragic, something that has to be addressed, something that has to be solved. When you talk, when you use the word investment, you're, you're literally using a, almost a business term and saying that you want to realize a benefit. When we talk about investing and our more skilled young men and women, the outcome, the benefit is that we're going to get better, more effective, more informed voices representing our interests in the future. Paula, I know you're a part of one of our uh, emerging generations with NHI. One of the largest populations uh, started to get served right around the time you participated. And you and your peers are, are entering the professional world, starting to, to make advancements. Why do they need to have a role in this? This is the only place where... <sighs> Uh, we get to have a direct say in where our money goes, where our voices go, what our future is going to be like. We get to invest in our peers. We get to invest in the people that are going to be our, our co-workers and our friends for, for a long time. And I think that there are people who are leading the way, looking beyond paychecks and saying, I want some part of my money 
to go to promising young minds. And those people are the ones making a difference. I know when I think about this campaign, I'm starting to think about, uh, you know, just building my own equity as a family, uh, as a professional. Um, but I know that it's also a responsibility and to my own benefit to build human equity around mm -hmm. me, especially in the world that I'm trying to help build and contribute to for my daughter. There's other ways it seems that non-members can also get involved in this campaign. Can either of you tell us a little bit about some other entities beyond or that are related to NHI members that are participating actively already? Well, I can tell you that BP comes out of a family. I won't mention the family. But a person who's been with that company for many years and sees the value of the work and has gone to her colleagues and made a case for the National Hispanic Institute, and over a span of several years, uh, they have sent a significant amount of money uh, to help support the work and to help invest in the future of the organization. We have individuals such as Jaime Gonzalez in, in Austin who works with Apple, and for the last several years, uh, the generosity of Apple has been to, to, to offer a match program of uh, money for volunteer hours. And so there are various ways in which NHIs, where they work for Google or they work for a bank or they work for someone else, uh, can approach their particular colleagues and figure out how do we direct some of the monies that we normally give uh, to the community? How do we do that with the National Hispanic Institute? And what they're going to do is double and triple their investment. And it seems like like State Farm, I know, is an example where there's both the the organ, the entity, the company, but also individual employees do their part. That kind of kind of grows the investment. Even right now, we're talking to some of the agents, and I don't, I won't get into some of the details, but there is a move afoot where State Farm has been one of the uh, stable contributors. Uh, to the work of the National Hispanic Institute. They love the work. They've witnessed the work. They've been present at the work. They love the spirit of the kids. They see the result. And so they want to do more of it. And so they do their part. Kerr Foundation uh, and, and, and Chicago and Lake Forest and, and that whole area of, of, of that county uh, is very specific about kids they want to help and why. Uh, they see the result of the Latinos, the impact of Latinos in that community. They want to help support the young people there. So the Change of Life campaign is going to be an engine that is going to drive investments where? Where are some of the communities that we have a, we have a strategic eye on or, or we're trying to make sure that we rally, rally the alumni around particular areas? So primarily, uh, we're looking at South Texas. We're looking at Northern New Mexico uh, we're looking at inner city New York, inner city Philadelphia. We're looking at the Midwest. Uh, we're also looking at expansion projects, right? Uh, we're, NHI is, is going to every single state. And so we're looking at, at California and other communities that we're trying to grow uh, in Puerto Rico. There's a lot of alumni and a lot of communities that we can draw upon to, to help uh, students from Puerto Rico come to the United States uh, to the program. I know that we're giving out 10 Scholarships. And full scholarships. Uh, and so those are an example of the communities that we're looking to invest in internationally. We're also looking to make some investments. So it's it's typically the communities that don't get to draw upon large networks of wealth uh, that we want to So when you're sure talking about we, like northern New Mexico, so you, I, I imagine you're talking about mm -hmm. a lot of the smaller communities yes. like the San Luis Valley in southern Colorado, uh, all the rural parts like Las, Las Vegas, Beca, Pecos in New Mexico, but also going down and towards the Winter Garden Corridor, they call it, or outside of Corpus. Um, play this out for me. We, we get behind. We, we put the $100,000 to work. Maybe we double or match it. Where does this take us next? Well, where it takes us next is that it gets the ball rolling in those communities uh, in terms of the leadership experience. It spreads. Schools get informed about it. Schools get excited about it. Schools start getting involved in it because they see the value of the experience. They see the students go back and make better grades make better college applicants. You know, it's really interesting. Every NHI student who comes through our programs, or they go through all our programs, will have gone to at least three universities and they're cycled with NHI throughout their high school careers. They would have been there. They would have come back not only as participants, but they themselves come back and volunteer. You know that. Annually, we have about 1,200 of these young men and women come back just to give back. Now, they're doing their part. They're giving back what someone gave to them. And so that investment cycle, that investment understanding is taken to heart. So it's just not the money. 
It's also the human resources that come as a result. Paula, how can folks get involved? So we will be unveiling a big social media campaign for all of our alumni and families. We will be releasing information via email, social media. Uh, We will also be adding a new component to our website, nationalhispanicinstitute.org, where people can go and donate. Uh, You can make a once, uh, one, once in a, I guess, year donation. You can make recurring donations. Uh, and we really encourage our alumni to look at the amounts that they can donate. Anyone from a high school student to alumni who participated in the 80s. So this isn't just for professionals and, no. and you know, working career folks. No, we're encouraging every single NHI and every single NHI family and every single person who wishes to invest in the future of the Latino community to to invest in the Change of Life campaign. If you're in high school, $5 helps. If you are in college, $10, $20 helps. If you're a young professional like Chris Birch and you want to donate $1,500, that helps. Uh, Any little bit that you can do uh, will, will take us into changing lives. Final word. Ernesto. Well, as president and founder, uh, uh, you know, what's crazy is that uh, next year or this summer, I will have been here 39 years, and then the year after that, it'll be 40 years for me. It's been a great journey. Uh, I would I would uh, not be here if it weren't for a bunch of youth believers, uh, young people that not only gave it their time, but gave it their money. Uh, I'm, always, I'm always taken back and... Um, very gratified when I see an alumnus write a check, you know, to this organization to help out kids because they know where they got it. We have some alums who have done really well in life. Uh, people like Humberto Sainz, there is no doubt about his generosity. People like Adriel Lares, no doubt about it. Brian Sanchez from Santa Fe, no doubt about their generosity. Now Christopher Burge from Dallas. The, the, the Rodriguez family, George and Michelle, out of Dallas, Roy Nieto, uh, those people who feel like, hey, I really got out a lot of this, even though they might have come in the 80s or the 90s or even beyond. Take a young man like Louis Tijerina, still in his 20s, a very generous contributor to the whole process. These are the people that see the value of their investments, and they want to not only double it, but quadruple it because they value the outcome. And they're able to see that really good things come as a result of this kind of mission. Well, thank you, Ernesto. Uh, thank you, Ernesto. And thank you, Paula, for this conversation and learning a little bit more about the Change of Life campaign. You can find out more information on all of our social media outlets, as well as our website. And until the next info pod, uh, this is uh, Julio, Ernesto, and Paula signing off here in Maxwell, Texas, at the home office of the National Hispanic Institute. Thank you. For more information on the National Hispanic Institute, please visit our website, www.nationalhispanicinstitute.org. Call us at 512-357-6137. Find us on Facebook at NHIHQ or on Twitter, NHI underscore news and at Instagram and Snapchat, NHI underscore news. Thank you to Union Pacific for their generous support as a sponsor of the NHI Podcast Network. Music by Andres Cotto.